kind of fluffy today. So um, I made this really cute um, Santa shirt last week and um, I used Chalk Couture and I just love it. Um, so I thought I would do a live video today and show you guys how easy it is and um, that you can totally do this um, as well. So um, this is what we're going to work on today. Um, this t-shirt is really soft and cute and it has these cute little elbow patches that I liked. Um, and uh, the mint green I thought would be something different than the traditional um, red t-shirt that I get every year. Um, is that just me? Do you guys buy like a Christmas t-shirt every single year? Um, I don't know if I'm obsessed with Christmas or what, but it seems like every single year I'm buying a new Christmas shirt. So this year I decided I'm going to make myself one. Um, and I actually have a few more of these shirts, so um, I thought I'd go ahead and do the live today and show you guys how to do it. And um, if you're interested in purchasing one, just leave me a comment. Um, I have about four shirts um, in random sizes, so um, I will be uh, putting Santas on all of these and I'm going to be selling them. So just let me know if you're interested and I'll get you the information about it. Um, but for today, let's learn how to make it. What the heck, right? Okay, so let me uh, turn the camera down so that you can see what I'm working on. Okay, like that. This is the t-shirt that we're going to work on. This is my easy press over here. We're going to use this to heat set it um, so that um, it can be washed and not mess up the design. Um, we're also going to be using the Chalkology ink uh, by Chalk Couture. And let me show you which ones we have here. So we have uh, Peony is the pink. Hey, Sandy. Just getting started here. So um, this is what I used for his hat was the pink because um, I just thought the pink would look better than red just because this mint green is lighter. So I wanted to keep it a little bit um, more muted tones. I'm so glad you caught me live. Yes. So um, we're going to use that peony pink and this is a... Um, an ink not a chalk paste so it looks the container looks very similar but this one is an ink so that's how we can heat set it um, the chalk is not um, you can't heat set it and make it permanent so that's why we're using the ink so as well as the pink we're going to be using the bright white and we are also going to be using the black velvet so these are the colors that we're going to be using for our Santa today and he is going to be super duper awesome. So I am just about ready to go. want to do is um, we need to put something in the shirt so that when we put the ink on it doesn't soak through to the back side of the shirt and then you have this wonky design on the back so we don't want to do that so what we're going to do is this is my uh, chalk couture um, ink pad and it comes with this clear cover on it I'm going to pull that off All right, so what I'm going to do is roll this up because it's all sticky. That if you roll it, the outside is not sticky, and so it'll be easier to slide it into the shirt. So now that I have it rolled up, I'm just going to open up the bottom of the shirt and put it in. Then once I have it in there, I can release the circle 
and let it spread out inside of the shirt. Okay, then we just need to get it flat and make sure that all of the fabric in the area that we're gonna be working is flat as well. So I'm gonna get a few wrinkles out. That looks pretty good. All right, so the Santa pattern comes in two pieces. This is part one, which we're gonna do the, the pink and the white um, for the hat and the, the beard and things like that and the white on the hat. And then we'll come back with part two, which is all of the little details of the Santa. So we're going to do that one all in black, and it's going to do all the little outlines and squigglies and things that's really going to make the Santa pop. So I'm going to set that one aside for now. And if you have not already done so, I would love to have you in my free crafting group. Um, it's on Facebook and it is called the Hen House Crafting Club and um, if you're interested in joining um, just leave me a comment that is that says hashtag club hashtag CLUB and I'll message you the uh, link to get joined in on that group so that you don't miss out on any of the projects that I'm making um, and then also I'd like for you to share with me projects that you're working on and they don't have to be chalk couture Just any kind of craft projects that you're working on. I'd love to see them So right now I'm sharing this video over to my craft club So that we can make sure everybody sees it because one thing about it, whenever um, you're in a group like that, rather than on a business page, um, you're more likely to see the posts that pop up or that are shared. Um, so that's another good reason to be in the group so that you don't miss out on anything. And then um, the other thing is there are some exclusive offers that are presented in the group, um, some sales, um, some um, sample packs, uh, different things like that that are available only in the group. So um, that's another good reason to join in there. Plus, we have some super amazing ladies in there that I think you'll like, and um, I know I love them. And so um, it's a great little community to share and um, collaborate on crafts and things. All right, so... Now that we have this guy all smoothed out, we're going to place him, I'm probably going to line up the top of this pattern to the seam here on um, the neck of the t-shirt because the Santa doesn't start at the very top of the transfer. He starts down here, so that's going to give us a little bit of gap, and he's a pretty good size design, so... I don't want to get him down too low and then he's, you know, down um, at your waist or whatever. So I think I'm going to line him up right about there and I will try to center it. And, um, and then we'll get started inking. All right, so I'm just going to remove this from the backer paper. And one thing to remember with um, using ink um, and fabrics is you do not need to um, fuzz your transfer because the fabric that um, we're putting this on already has fuzz on it anyway. So there's, there's no need to fuzz it. So we're just going to place it right underneath the collar there and then try to smooth it out. It looks pretty even, like I have the same amount of space on both sides. So I think I'm just going to smooth out any wrinkles. Make sure that my transfer is stuck down. And I have a string in there. Let me get this out. A little, I don't know where it came from, but it's a little red string or thread in there. 
Let me take that out. Okay. All right. So we are good to go. Now, what we need to do is start inking. And I think I'll start with the pink for his hat um, because I like to work from the top down. So um, we'll do that. And one thing that I like to do is I like to put something underneath my container of ink. That way, if I make a mess, it doesn't get on my shirt. It'll get on the paper or whatever it is that I've put there. So I'm just going to put this backer paper here um, to help protect the shirt from any oopses. All right, so remove the lid and I'm going to stir it up. Your ink should be um, like a yogurt consistency. From what I have noticed, ink tends to be um, a little bit softer or runnier than chalk. So if you notice a difference in your ink compared to your chalk, that's completely normal. All right, throw that little stir stick in some water. You want to make sure to keep your hands clean because if you get the ink on your hands and then you go to touch touching your shirt or even the clothes that you're wearing, um, you're going to stain them. So now I'm just going to load up a um, small squeegee with some of the pink ink. And... Um, you don't have to work as quickly with the ink as you do with the chalk because it just doesn't dry as fast. Um, and you don't want to push hard. You, you might even want to give it less pressure than you do with the chalk um, because it is um, a runnier consistency. It, it can go up underneath the transfer a little bit easier. So you want to make sure to just glide and not press. So we're gonna just start applying the ink and I'm gonna try to be very careful to only get it to the areas where the hat is. And I'm just barely even touching the transfer and swiping it over. And another thing to consider when um, working with fabric is that um, Fabric is woven, so the threads move in all directions. So you need to be careful to um, get your ink and rub it in more than one direction. Because you want to, when you remove your transfer, you want the ink to have covered the whole thing and not have some bare spots in there. Okay, so I think it's all covered. I'm going to put some put the excess in my jar. And then I'm going to come back and make sure I've removed all of the excess from my transfer. And to do that, all you have to do is stand up your squeegee and glide it across. Okay, so I think, I think we're good. I think we got everything covered. So I am finished with my pink. So I'm going to throw that squeegee in some water, put my lid back on the ink, and then I'll lift this section up, show you what the hat looks like. So this is what we have so far. So now I'm going to just gently lay it back down and um, not press on it. I'm just going to gently lay it back down and make sure the areas that I'm about to work on are stuck down by just touching them only and not the pink part. Okay. So that's pretty good. Now we're going to come back with the white. And this is what bright white chalkology ink. Again, this is not the chalk paste that we've used on most projects, but it is ink. And we're going to stir it up. Alrighty. 
So I apologize for not getting my um, my video done yesterday. Um, this is my birthday weekend, and so I went out with um, some of my family, and we went on a little motorcycle ride and just enjoyed the day. Um, we had some fall-like weather, and so we were enjoying that, and um, I just didn't have time to get the video in because I was too busy living life and loving it. So now we're going to load up some white on another small squeegee. Um, if you only have one, you could totally just wash that one off with some water and use it. But for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and um, just use a new squeegee. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just gently rubbing over the transfer. And this is going to give us all of Santa's white hair the white on his hat, his teeth, all of that. I'm just trying to make sure to get all the way to the edge of the pink hat. Okay. All right, so let's see what we have so far. What do you think? He's gonna be really cute, huh? Okay, now I'm gonna work on the bottom section. I'm just gonna gently lay that down. Make sure this bottom section is stuck down. And I'm gonna work my way down to the bottom. You guys, this is so easy. You just, you can't imagine. You have to try it to see exactly how easy this is. If you've done the chalk paste and you thought that was easy, I mean, this is just as easy, if not easier. And so you can make yourself custom t-shirts that no one else is going to have. You don't have to worry about going into a little Christmas party with the same shirt that everybody else is wearing. Because yours would be totally unique because they are not going to sell this in Target. Okay, so now once again, I'm just removing the excess by standing up my squeegee and gliding it across the top. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm putting the excess back in my jar and putting the lid on it. All right. So that's all we have for layer one as far as applying the ink goes. We're going to take this transfer off and we're going to place it in a pan of water. And then we're going to need to dry it. So to save on time, I have my hair dryer in here and we are going to dry it with a hair dryer. Um, to speed up the process a little bit. So Santa's looking a little pale right now, but when we go back and add all of the details, he's going to look really awesome. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is, did you notice how easy it was when I lifted that transfer? Not only was it um, not stuck super hard like it can get on um, chalkboards, um, but it didn't pull up my t-shirt. So it didn't move my t-shirt around and mess up my design. And that's because the Chalkology um, ink pads are sticky. 
So they're holding that shirt in place for me. So you could um, put like cardboard or something in there, but um, it's not gonna be sticky and hold your shirt still, but it will prevent it from um, getting to the other side. Um, but you could, you could make it work if you're just really careful. So now I'm gonna make some noise and um, get this sand to dry so that we can go on to transfer number two. transfer number two that's this one um, and it's gonna all be done in one color and that's gonna be the black velvet so um, we just need to remove the transfer from the backing paper trying not to stick it to itself because that can be a real pain in the patootie to try and get it unstuck I'm going to set the backer paper aside and then we just need to line it up and you can see through the transfer where the pink and the white is so you want to line that up where the green is on this transfer so let's see if we can get that on here That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's good. So again, I'm just gonna gently rub over the top. I mean, very gently. I don't want to push down and take any chances of messing up the ink that we just laid down. So I'm just gonna really gently rub over the top so that it will um, stick to the shirt. And again, I'm gonna just lay a little bit of protection right here. So that I don't make a mess with the black ink. All right, let's stir this sucker up. All righty. 
Okay, so, <clears throat> hey Melanie, I'm glad you were able to join. Okay, so this is part two of Santa, and we have the black ink, so we're going to go over this transfer to um, bring out the details of our Santa. So this is the Chalkology ink, as opposed to the chalk paste that we've used on other projects. And so the ink is going to allow us to um, be able to heat set this and um, make it a permanent project. So that way we'll be able to wash our t-shirt without messing it up at all. So I'm just putting the uh, black ink on my squeegee and gently gliding it across the top. And I'm just gonna continue doing that until um, the whole transfer is covered. So tell me, are you guys like me? Do you buy like a new Christmas t-shirt every single year? I don't know Christmas or what, but I buy one every single year. And um, this year I decided I'm gonna make me one. And mine is gonna be different than anything that anybody else is buying over at Target or Ross's or wherever they're shopping. And mine's gonna be different. And it's gonna be really cute. This is so easy, anybody can do this. Oh, I thought I lost you guys for a minute. It said it was trying to reconnect. Did it, um, did the video stop for you guys? Looks like you're back. Okay, so my fingers are clean. I don't have ink on my fingers. That's a dried up spot there. So I'm gonna lift the transfer and reveal our adorable Santa Claus. I'm trying to put him over here in a pan of water without him getting stuck to anything. So I'm putting him in a pan of water right away because I don't want the ink to dry in um, the screen and mess up my transfer because I want to be able to use this over and over again. And you should be able to use it many, many times. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my easy press and I'm going to set it for 350 at 30 seconds. If you don't have an easy press, you can use an iron, but it's going to take more like four minutes. Um, so it's the easy press is a little bit easier and it covers um, a, a larger area. So while that is heating up, I'm going to use my hair dryer to go ahead and dry the black ink um, so that we can um, go through the final step of doing the heat treatment. Excuse the noise for just a minute. it says does the ink dry as fast as the chalk no it doesn't um, it takes a little bit more to dry um, but not too much but the chalk does dry faster which is 
um, the reason why we need to work um, more quickly with the transfers and such when we're using those than we do with the ink. So you have a little more time to work with this, but it also means it takes a little longer to dry. So let's get this finished. long so now he's all dry nothing's coming off on my hands so he's set so um, my easy press is almost up to 350 um, on temperature so what we need to do in the meantime is um, we're gonna go ahead and take out the ink mat that we have in here um, so that it doesn't mess up the heat doesn't mess up my ink mat doesn't the uh, black really make uh, the Santa pop? Like he just looked really bland before when um, we just had the pink and the white on there. Okay, that's my easy press saying it's ready to go. So we just gotta get this guy out. So I'm gonna use the same method that I used to put it in by rolling it so that the sticky is inside, it's in here, and I'm able to just slide it out of the shirt. So that's good. Let's see. Yep, I think he's all set. You can see that it kept the ink from running through to the back of the shirt. So now what I'm gonna do is I have, um, I have this little ironing mat that I'm gonna use just because um, I'm doing this on my desk and not my ironing board. Um, you can totally do this on just a regular ironing board if, you, if that's what you have. Um, but for the purpose of making this video, it's easier to have this little mat. All right, so I'm gonna try to center Santa Claus on the mat. And then what I have is I have a Teflon sheet. Um, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna protect my iron for just in case there's any um, residue or anything like that that comes off of the ink onto the iron. Um, I don't have to worry about that. Um, the Teflon sheet, I just bought it from Amazon. I would imagine you could probably buy it other places, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of a coppery color and it's very thin, like a, a little bit heavier than a fabric. So I'm just going to lay that over my Santa now that I have him nice and smooth. And, um, my easy press is not quite as big as the Santa, so we'll probably do it in two sections. So let's get started with that. So I'm just going to place it up here at the top and I'm going to press the little green um, Cricut Go button and it's going to start counting down. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it starts at 30 seconds and it's going to count down. Um, it does not require you to um, apply any pressure. Um, if you've ever done shirts with vinyl, you know, cut it with your Cricut and put vinyl on a shirt, you have to apply pressure for it to stick. Um, this does not. So we're just gonna do 30 seconds and then I'm gonna move it down. So that beep means that it's done. So I'm gonna move it down and hit the go button again so we can make sure the entire image was covered. And we got about 18 more seconds. It's gonna do that. Um, the next thing that we're going to want to do is um, turn the shirt inside out. And then on the back side of the Santa, we're going to go ahead and heat him again. 
just to make sure that it is heated all the way throughout and that we're not gonna have any issues with our design at all. Super hot, steaming. So let me set that aside and just turn him inside out. And why I'm turning the sleeves inside out, I don't know. I guess it's just habit because I only need the body part to be inside out. All right, so now we're gonna put Santa back on the mat, smooth it out, and we're gonna heat him up one more time. All right, the green go button, and we're gonna count down for 30 seconds. Our project is almost complete. If you've enjoyed watching this video, I would love for you to um, send it on over to your friends that you think might be interested in it um, and even tell them about the Hen House Crafting Club um, because I would love to have all of you in there. And um, if uh, you're not already in the Hen House Crafting Club and you're interested in joining, it is free. Um, all you have to do to get um, the information is comment below, hashtag club, that's hashtag C-L-U-B, and um, I will send you a message with the link so that you can join in. We've got nine more seconds to go, and we're just about ready to reveal our finished project. Awesome. So... He's steaming. Let's turn this the right way. And then I'm gonna show you the finished project. Ta-da! There he is, he's all finished. He feels nice and soft and pliable. Um, so it's not as stiff as um, t-shirts that have the vinyl on them. So to me, they're a little more comfortable. Um, and he's adorable. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Um, if you're interested in purchasing in the, any of the um, products that we use today, just leave me a comment and I will get you some links on how to get them. Um, also, I do have um, several of these shirts for sale if you're interested in purchasing one. I have a variety of sizes. Um, and I'd be happy to get you some information on that as well. Just let me know and you can have your very own um, Santa shirt. They won't look like everybody else's at work. So here we go. We're all done. This was the Santa that I showed you that I made last week. And here's the one that we made today. I think he's super adorable. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you're in the Hen House Crafting Club so that you can catch all of my videos and not miss out on anything. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate you um, watching, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye!